Well, for thousands of years, cannabis has been used by people for their health, for a quality of life. And it's only been in the last couple hundred years that we've brought it in and used it more culturally. Cannabis is such a fascinating plant for me. I've been studying medicinal plants for almost 30 years and we've traveled all over the world, collected it from all corners of possible habitats. Cannabis is one of these plants that has a great deal of variability, like an order of magnitude more than any other medicinal plant that I've worked on before. So the key thing that we are doing in our lab and working with stakeholders that care, retailers like Shoppers Drug Mart, my name is Ken Weisbrod. I'm a vice president at Shoppers Drug Mart, and I'm responsible for the cannabis strategy. I'm a pharmacist uh, by profession. I have been practicing pharmacy for almost 35 years. You can imagine a company like Shoppers Drug Mart entering the cannabis space. We went very slowly at the beginning. Coming from an illegal industry into a legal industry, there's lots of work that needs to get done in, in terms of ensuring that the supply chain is safe and sound. The drug companies put a lot of money and rigor into studies and trials with patients to ensure that the safety profile and the effectiveness of a drug before it comes to market is there. The number one thing that we want to do as a pharmacist is ensure that the products that we offer and the medicine we offer to our patients are safe. That is what this really is about. So as we embarked on this journey, we decided we needed a more robust chemistry offer to our clinicians. That led us to a group out of the University of Guelph called Purity IQ. And what they do is they have a testing platform that allowed us to use a new technology called nuclear magnetic resonance. Identity and purity are still standards that are left with the retailer. And if they want to build a good brand for consumers, you need to trace that ingredient all the way through. And until now, there hasn't been a test. Perhaps I'm biased because I'm a scientist, but I want to see tests, I want to see data. The chemical fingerprint is really the key. Plants have evolved um, genetic pathways to produce chemistry in different environments, different light, different soils, different nutrients. Cannabis is one of these plants that um, has immediate response to light and produces different chemistry. And that gives a different response in our body than when we consume it. So for each strain or each product, we have this unique chemical fingerprint. And that chemical fingerprint can be measured so now you have um, a set of data that's created through a math equation that represents that chemical fingerprint, and it's traveling through a supply chain. You want to protect that data. You don't want anybody to falsify that data or counterfeit that data in any way. And the way to do that is um, blockchain. Very early in the process, we spoke to Deloitte. Uh, Deloitte had a lot of capability and understanding of the industry, and they embraced the concept that we were going after. And I introduced them to True Trace, the blockchain company who have a great understanding of the cannabis industry and a great technology platform. True Trace is a wonderful partner. What I love about them is they're mathematicians at heart. So True Trace provides a barcode, a scannable barcode that has information. And some of the information that is in that barcode is our scientific test. We could have all the testing in the world and if that data could be uh, counterfeited or could be changed in any way, um, it doesn't really matter how good the test is. You're bringing two really new technologies together under this proof of concept. So it's really cutting edge and I think it's really unique. And it gave us that kind of special formula that we thought really would work to help get the Canadian industry to a much more standardized platform. Our hope is that after a project like this, that we are moving down that road of creating cannabis in a standard platform and treated like a medicine like all other medicines. So is the rest of the world looking at this? Absolutely. There's huge interest in the rest of the world about what we're doing on this project. We're seen as a world leader in cannabis, in research, in standardization, in cultivation. It's the right step for Canada to take a leadership role in standardization.